Hello, everyone. Welcome. Today I'm sitting down with Andre, and Andre is one of our grade 12 students in our academy program. And we're so excited to sit down with him today and kind of learn about his process with scholarships and his success so far. Um, and yeah, just get to know a little bit more about Andre and his story. Um, thanks so much for sitting down with us today, Andre. You're welcome. Awesome. So Andre, do you want to go into, uh, tell us a little bit about where you want to go to school and where you've been accepted and what program you're planning on doing? Uh, so I have actually been accepted into Capilano University for the 3D animations program for films and games. I am so excited to go there. That's the main school I wanted to get into. Yeah. And I can't wait. Sorry, go ahead, Andre. Oh, sorry. And I can't wait. Yeah, you can't wait. No, I'm, we're all excited, super excited for you here at Grammy. I know this was your dream program and for you to get in. And also, you've won an entrance scholarship to this cap, uh, to Capilano as well. That's correct. It was, yeah, it was one of their entrance scholarships. And I have also actually won another scholarship. It's for my Greek community church scholarship. Um, oh my gosh. I believe that totals up to $4,000, doesn't it? That, I believe so. That's awesome. Great work, Andre. We're super proud of you. And um, I'm really excited to kind of get to know um, or it helps other students who are kind of in grade 11 or even younger about to start this process um, and get to know your advice throughout our program. So I'll start off with my, um, you know, questions here. Um, where were you at with the scholarship and university application process prior to grade 12? Well, prior to grade 12, a university and scholarship applications were very intimidating for me. They were intimidating because I had no I know where to reach out to. I didn't know where to turn. I did not have a counselor actually because I attended British Columbia School of the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, and at the time we did not have a counselor. Oh my goodness! So you had no counselor help, and you're kind of doing this process pretty much all by yourself. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Andre. Wow. Um, and so where did you get to where you're at now? Meaning, how does it look like to be successful in scholarships? Well, there are, most, there are five main concepts that have helped me get to where I am. Motivation, determination, hard work, goals, and not being afraid of failure. These five concepts have helped me get to where I am, not just with scholarship, but also life. Yeah. We have, I use my goals to keep me moving forward. Then I have my determination, hard work, and motivation to help me reach my goals. And finally, I what I needed to look at is to truly understand and accept that I might fail sometimes because that's okay. And failure is one of the main things that had built me to who I am today. Oh my goodness. Wow, Andre. I love that. I definitely see you know, just working with you in the program and seeing you on mentorship calls and seeing your essays come in, you're so determined and you're so hardworking. And um, I love to see, you know, you be uh, in the program that you want to take, you're going, attending the school that you want to attend also comes along with scholarship winnings. And it's just, you know, it's shown uh, your dedication to this whole process has really shown in your success that you currently have and are going to keep having in the future for yourself. Um, that's amazing, Andre. And I also wanted to say that I love how you said that it's okay to fail, you know, because that's how you learn and that's how you become the person that you are. Um, and yeah, I think that a lot of students might not see it that way, but um, it's great to know that, you know, with your success, you also understand that it's okay to fail. Yeah. Awesome. And so how has the program helped you, Andre? Well, this amazing program has truly helped me with my applications. 
I have been able to find and apply to multiple scholarships that I never dreamt was possible. It is also very assuring that I am able to have my work looked at over a few times before I submit my application. Having the monthly mentorship meetings are truly amazing. I am able to get advice from others who have been in some of my situations and am able to talk and learn from other youths around the country. Love it. That's awesome. So, you know, having that kind of support throughout this process for you. And um, I'm really happy to hear that the mentorship calls are something that you um, have also learned that has helped you throughout this yeah. program and kind of learning from other people's experiences. And I know there's um, Tanisha and Ari on the mentorship calls and kind of learning about how they uh, went throughout this process. That's awesome, Andre. Thank and you. what would you say, what is your biggest advice to students that are about to start this whole scholarship process? Well, my biggest piece of advice, well, there's just like, just, just so much advice that I would <laughs> love to share Yeah, <laughs> uh, with students. But when it comes down to it, I would say the biggest piece of advice, I'm sorry about that. I would say the biggest piece of advice uh, is to keep on applying and not give in to the feed. Treat it as a game and challenge yourself as to how many scholarships you can apply for. Throughout my scholarship application journey, I have had my ups and downs. I was not hearing back from a lot of scholarships, and I actually soon stopped applying for them. It was only when I picked up and got back into the game was when I started hearing when was when I sorry was when I started hearing back from scholarships. Love it. I love how you added your personal story to that response because, you know, um, you know, by, people might say, oh, just stay no motivated, keep going, blah, blah, blah. But you really broke down, hey, you know, I was applying to scholarships for a while and I wasn't hearing back. So you kind of lost your motivation. But then um, one day you're like, okay, you know, let's pick up the pen, let's pick up the keyboard, let's start um, applying to more applications. And through that determination, like you mentioned in the beginning, you're able to come out successful. And um, I love seeing that because, you know, it, it, some students might kind of slope off and not really continue with the process, but knowing that if you just keep going, um, you're really gonna see success in the future and um, ultimately um, achieve your goals. I love it, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Andre, for taking the time to sit down with us today and really share your story about your process throughout the whole um, you know, university application and scholarship process, because I think that your advice is really gonna help a lot of students who are about to start this whole uh, program. Thank you. Awesome, well, take care, Andre, and I'll speak with you soon. All right, bye. Bye.